Yes, we're gonna go grocery shopping because we need like protein stuff. Because when we went grocery shopping the other day, it was mostly like fruits and vegetables and pantry stuff. Marukai. Let's do our Marukai haul. Okay. It's um box toy. I want to make sweet. Extra bag. Cilantro. Oh, my lunch. Salmon. I always get salmon there. wanted bananas so we got apple bananas cabbage I've been really liking like you know how like Japanese style you put cabbage underneath the food so I got a little cabbage we got a squash so I can make chicken and squash it was on sale chicken that I'm just gonna divide and freeze and then two trays of uh like the ribs pork because I usually use that for the soup and then I also make like um ribs like barbecue ribs then I got some cutie I'm gonna do this for like something for the snack that we need on Sunday and then the snack that we are going to make I need to spam I got a Coke. And I got more tempura sauce. That's all. That's all I bought, and it was $90. My gosh. But yeah. Oh, wait, is there something else? No, that's it. So I'm gonna clean up, put this away, and then I'm gonna eat my lunch. There's crumbs on the I got this. It's like maki sushi, it's like six bucks for this whole thing. And my salmon bento, 10 bucks. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. Oh. Yeah, mama. Cabbage or sprouts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. You want chopstick? Yeah. Okay, I gotta go grab my own chopstick now. cabbage or the sprouts and they always get like this the potato thing and i don't like the potato thing i don't know why Mom, mommy open it give it to mommy Splinters. Oh my gosh. Do you like I feel like it's a Hawaii thing where when you get like bentos or like things with rubber bands, you keep your rubber bands, but then you sometimes forget where the rubber bands are. Yeah. Oh, and also like what? Oh. I have to waste the broth. Yeah, you eat. 
I like when it comes to broccoli. Mm -hmm. This has like tuck one, fish cake, cucumber, carrot, um, I don't know what that thing is, but and like mushroom. Um That one was big. Where's the end piece? I always get a Coke. I know I shouldn't be drinking it. Which reminds me, I want to do like a video of me getting ready for the Great Aloha Run, which is like in five and a half weeks. And I have to walk, well, I can run, but I'm probably not going to run. I can. I have to walk eight point something miles while pushing Pika. So we'll see i guess i'm, I'm gonna i want to make a separate video of like me like documenting like getting ready for it i guess no way so i don't like burn out but we'll see because honestly like so i gained a lot of weight and then i started walking and I lost some weight. I started to lose weight. And then, like, winter came around. And winter here, it doesn't snow. It rains. And I didn't want to walk with Tito while it's raining. But, like, is that my excuse? Yeah. So, I don't, like, I shouldn't say I want to lose weight. I just want to get healthier. Because, like... Now, like, I've been tiny my whole life, and I am short, so, like, when you have more weight, it's, like, I feel like, for me personally, it's more uncomfortable, like, bending down and stuff is more uncomfortable, but also, like, I feel, like, lethargic, not lethargic, that's not right, I'm not tired, but... I just feel like I could be healthier. <laughs> I don't want to be healthy for myself. I'm for the kids, you know? I don't want to not be able to do stuff because I'm out of shape or I get out of breath doing stuff, you know? Um, why were you 30? So, we don't want to... No. We need to get on it. But my main word for this year is consistency. Thus far in my life, I feel like I lack consistency in the stuff that I really care about. Other than like my children and my family. But I need consistency when it comes to like myself and what I want to achieve for myself. Because a lot of times I start it or I start doing something and then like something with the, my family or, you know, something along the lines of me having to like take care of people. I'm not going to say gets in the way, but becomes top priority. And then I burn out on the self-care or the like the upkeep of me trying to stay healthy. So... I don't want to use that an, as an excuse because it shouldn't be, right? But I want to find the balance and then be consistent with it. 
so we'll see how it goes. I'm, I feel like in doing so, it's going to teach my kids to be consistent with their, like, with their own goals, too. You know, because kids mimic behavior and things that they see. And they're really, really, really observant. And like my son, he has good memory too. So he'll like remember like, oh mom, you were mad at me. Remember that time or whatever. And that's not like the things that I want him to remember, you know. I want him to remember like when we went to ATV driving with him at the Jurassic World place, you know. Like I want him to remember the fun times, not like me getting angry because I couldn't do something or I'm stressed out, right? And that's another reason why I want to get healthier is because I, I, I feel like it's more of a way to relieve stress without even thinking it. But cheers to 2024, the journey of consistency, right? I'm doing more for myself, which will in turn be good for everybody. Well, I think that's it for today. So I hope you guys, excuse me. I hope you guys are having a good day, night, whenever you're watching this. And just a friendly reminder, everybody's human and you're doing your best. Bye.